good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Okay now, yes, we are still live and direct here in Badag. And where am I talking about in Badag? Yes, we are presently at the Ilaje fishing village. I'm sure you've seen a movement down to this place. And uh, right now, I'm going to take you to uh, where we are going to uh, be staying for the short period of days that we'll be spending. I want to live here with these people. I want to, you know, see how they live, you know, uh, their plights, what they go through whenever they are fishing. So, and uh, what I heard is like, uh, it's a uh, fish uh, season now that uh, it's not really fishing time here. So, we will be coming out tomorrow to to fish with them however let me take you to where i'm going to crash for tonight <laughs> we have company so look at them i ain't got tv fans <laughs> However, for your information, there's no light here. There's no light here at all. So, but I will tell you some certain things that you need to know about uh, the lifestyle of the people here. So, don't go nowhere, just uh, keep watching and uh, stay with us. Uh, this is the abode where we are going to lay our heads for the rest of the day. So, it's like our host has helped us to lock the place uh, because we have a gadget there. However, we will go to our host uh, apartment here. Let me take you to our host. You know, they are both husband and wife, and um, this is where they they live. This is where they they work and bread. Good evening, Good evening madam. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. No, not you. Uh, where? Everything just look the same. No. Oh my god. Wow, life here is so calm. Peace. In fact, just relax and enjoy yourself. So our uh, host, that's our mama for you. Show mama for them. Show mama for them. <laughs> this is our mama. <laughs> How are you, my dear? So that's our mama for you. She's going to take good care of us today. And uh, at least for the job, for just a few days that we'll be spending here. And uh, she's a very wonderful man. I will show you the husband though. You will see the husband because we are all going fishing tomorrow morning. To our mansion here. There's a mansion where we'll be staying, passing the night. So we just collected the key. So let's, let's go in. So, this is where we will these are bags and as you can see I don't know what you can call this maybe this is the room this is the what can we call this place kitchen kitchen mm, small kitchen and there's a uh, passage there so uh, this is where we decided to give to us to lay down so, we'll be showing you some videos here while we are here. So, this is my first uh, meal here on the island prepared by the host. Yeah, so we have uh, white rice with uh, stew and fish along with egg so this one we have water here same with the uh, cooks 
Outside is around um, some minutes to six, and you can see the way the builds this small hut, or what, <coughs> what I was going to call this, with a carton, and uh, here on the floor you have uh, you know is the beach sand. And uh, a very thick nylon was laid on the floor. And then, um, yeah, this is my bag. This is a cook's bag. Uh, the guy left only this place as a ventilation because I discovered that this is the only place left alone. And that uh, the breeze was coming in from here, but the rest were being covered with nylon and no space at all. So it's a very good idea. You can see, yeah. My host uh, son is the one that lives here. So this are uh, his things. This place too has not covered. Maybe whenever he's preparing, I don't know if he cooks there. Yeah? If he cooks here, yeah, I don't know. But this is. Just want you to. I want to take you around the the room. You also have a life jacket here, so you know everybody features here because that is their job. So let me take you outside and see what the outside looks like early morning like this. Eka Roma, Erama, Awaniema, Awaniema, Ashigo. So this is the detached, uh, detached roof. So, and this is where we are staying. You can see there is no light. You can see it's early morning around 6 a.m. So it's a very beautiful place and a very peaceful place to stay. So, and uh, if they want to charge, they go to the town to charge uh, their phones and other accessories. They bring it down to this place. They take it there in the morning. Then uh, once they charge, they go there back, uh, you know, by 6 uh, p.m. to bring it back home. Yeah. So this is the building where, yeah. This is the detached, uh, this thing. See the way they arrange this. Wow. And see, very cool and interesting. Yeah. And down to that side, over there, is where you have the point of no return. Uh, we've been there once, but if we have the opportunity of visiting there again, we will definitely do that and we we'll take you there again. So it's not too far from here. And um, 
there's something I need to tell you about that point of no return. I hope I will have uh, the time to, to, to go there once more to check if there's any development at the place. This is the door. See the way the package everything. So a lot of things are being put together in making this place. You have an Indomie carton, carton of milks and the carpets and um, just just name it, robes. Everyone is preparing to, you know, come out and uh, go for fishing this morning. And like I said to you, that it's crayfish uh, season and um, that's what will be happening this morning and we'll be going out with them as well to do some fishing so just stay cool and keep watching as i take you around the elijah fishing community without much ado i say thanks for watching and yeah keep watching <laughs> I really don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> but I'm sure you all enjoyed the beautiful tour that I've taken you, you know, around this early morning. <laughs>